Okay, here we go. This is the test fit of the second cut of my Burns BHM 4787 reshaped pick guard. Zooming in. The edge bevel's been dressed with 120 grit, so the next step is 320 grit, then wet and dry, then a polish of teacup. Okay, the pick guard's lifting a little bit, um, just at the, the heel end of the fretboard there. Um, we need to take a look at that, but uh, I certainly don't intend to put in the, uh, the two screws that sat around the fretboard heel to keep that down. A little bit of improvement there, we could move that cut out maybe a quarter of a mil further up, but that's as tight as I want to go, given that I'm going to put uh, pick guard surrounds on there. That screw's ended up quite tight into the tip uh, of the small horn. So I've repositioned this screw, it's about eight and a half millimeters um, uh, forward uh, of the, the screw position on the original RS. So I'm gonna need to drill a new hole there. That was the most appropriate position for it. Moving into this kind of tail bit here. So I've just positioned the knobs uh, where they would normally go. So we've got some good position there. We're half covering that screw uh, with the volume pot. Just do an overhead. So the positioning is very, very similar to how it is on the original. Quite pleased with that. And flying back around. The clearance here um, would probably less than a millimeter to the, uh, the cavity wall. So pretty pleased with that. And back around, you can see how closely it uh, follows the bridge. It'd be really nice if I could get one of those bridges black chromed, that would blend in nicely. So I could go a bit tighter here, but I think it'll look okay once the bridge is lifted in position, balanced. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. 